Hi everyone, this is Lisa from No Problem Consulting. I'm the registered immigration consultant of Canada. Um, we are located in British Columbia and today I just wanted to uh, brush off the notions and the standards for the Canada's investment program aka entrepreneur programs but i am only going to cover the federal level of both those types of um, immigration stream today as you can see there i just wrote it down just right before i made this video there is a first one called startup visa so it's basically if you have enough funds to support yourself and also you do convince the angel investors and venture capitalists in Canada then you should have your business plans and everything else is already in place then you would get your work permit as a startup visa applicants and then one year later you should be able to apply for your um, permanent residency and then the organization uh, the organization can be split into five different investors and also Canadians should have their um, shares in your company when you are opening up the startup uh, business in Canada. Uh, the thing about startup company, startup visa is um, there is relatively higher chances of getting your visa rejected. Uh, it's only because before anything else, um, you have to pitch your um, business plan in front of the investor in front of the venture capital funds uh, business incubator and then they will have to do all, do their own due diligence to make sure to ensure that you will thrive in canada first of all so that is actually quite challenging step to convince them and even if you did that um, it's also next question is whether or not this sounds reasonable for the Canadian government that having this business will help Canadian economy not just for yourself and during that processing I do see more than 80% of rejection rate and also going through that pitch from the angel investment to the government the entire processing takes about two to three years and even then, at the end of the day, at last process, last stage, you do your startup visa rejected. And um, it's just a huge waste of time sometimes. And also uh, the money that you have to spend for the pitching itself, because um, you have to do it properly with actually business planners. So that's also going to cost you money. So instead, we looked into owner's LMIA back in the day unfortunately the owner's lmia is no longer available the federal government has stopped taking owner lmia since 2014 i believe that was relatively easy so if you had more than uh, 51 shares in the company like more than half of the share for the company you were able to apply for the owner's lma but not anymore so those two or the type of investment or entrepreneur immigration stream for Canada as a federal level. Um, and then we got the self-employed person that's actually for the arts, athletic, so arts and sports. If you are internationally renowned artists or the athletes, then obviously they want you as a gifted person to be a part of a Canadian um, so that you guys can represent Canada. So that's another way of immigration as a part of a not economy program. But this is also really hard. Actually, you have to be worldly renowned, like world class level. And you also have to prove that you continually do the same thing for the foreseeable future. So that's another way of doing a type of non economic, but it's still not that common. So nowadays, what is commonly popular for non-economy program is just kind of a mixture of investment plus economy immigration. So actually, you will be hired as an employee of a certain company, but then you will be given a share and also you will be operating that business almost as an employee 
partner as a part of shareholder and then you will be taking that whatever the shares uh, whatever the income share from running that business on behalf of the employer uh, based on the location you are going to operate that business you should be able to apply for your permanent residency after six months or maybe after one year so i think that partial economy plus investment program has been the most popular investment ish investment ish uh, immigration pathway for international investors because again it takes less time that applicants to get their permanent residency and uh, second of all if you are type of person if you're entrepreneur um, you wish to register your company somewhere in Canada even after you get your permanent residency at least you can keep doing this you can just keep operating the same business even after you receive your permanent residency so it's actually helpful for you to plan your future afterwards and then it's definitely less risky it's going to be a lot cheaper um, than just going through the whole um, angel investor pitch and planning on your business and also this doesn't require a lot of sufficient fund to start so i think that partial way of Um, economy plus investment in this case I would just call it a right to operate types of immigration would be a lot better for someone who doesn't have enough sufficient funds and who wants to take less risk and who wants to go for the fastest pathway for your immigration or your permanent residency in Canada so I hope this notion or this idea makes much more sense for someone who is in that situation and if you want to know more about it then i can explain it i can help you to decide whether or not this is a good option for you so please feel free to give us a call or find us at no problem consulting uh, we got whatsapp and we got email and also you can reach out to us via phone call so yes um, we will look forward to hearing from you and i wish you pick the right pathway for your immigration um, to canada so that i can see you in the short future okay bye